1 a pentagon a b c d e has vertices of a b c d e find the area of pentagon a b c d e so this one is the same concept with quadrilateral quadrilateral and triangle so you have five point right so which means that when you calculate the area so you have a b c d e so the last one should be the same as the first one so you have negative 2 negative 5 3 2 this one is 2 8 0, 9, negative 3, 1 and then here is negative 2, negative 5 again so which is equal to half so up and down you have to multiply and add up so negative 2 times 2 you get negative 4 so two time, 3 times 8 is 24 2 times 9 is 18 so plus 18 0 times 1 is 0 plus 0 or you don't even have to write Negative 3 times negative 5, you get 15, so plus 15. So down to up is minus negative 5 times 3, you get negative 15. 2 times 2, we get 4, so minus 4, because down to up is minus. 8 times 0 is 0, so minus 0, or you don't even have to write. So what else? So 9 times negative 3, we get negative 27, so minus negative 27. And 1 times negative 2, we get negative 2, right? So minus negative 2, close back. So here we get half. So negative 4 plus 24 plus 18 plus 15 minus minus become positive 15. Minus 4 minus minus become positive 27. Minus minus become positive 2. So here we get half. Just use calculator or you can calculate manually any way that you wanted to find. So you get 93 which is equal to half. So model 93 is 93. So 93 divided by 2, we get 46.5, right? So it can be 46.5 units square or 46, 1 over 2 also accepted. It's basically the same thing, right? Okay. So turn. So 2, basically we have hexagon. Hexagon is 6 vertices. So you see here, you're supposed to have 6. So A, B, C, D, E, F. You see here 6. So when you have 6, first one you start with 0, negative 1, right? So make sure you ended up with the first point. So this one is negative 3, negative 1, negative 4, 2, negative 2, 6, 1, 5, 2, 1. And then you close 0, negative 1. So 6 vertices, you are supposed to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, which is equal to half. So 0 times negative 1 is 0. Negative 3 times 2, we get negative 6. So plus negative 6. Negative 4 times 0, this one is 0. 2, 0, right? 2, 6, my God. Negative 4 times 6, we get negative 24. So plus negative 24. Negative 2 times 5, we get negative 10 plus negative 10. You can also directly write negative 10. So 1 times 1 is 1, so plus 1. And then 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, so plus negative 2. Okay, done. So below to up is minus. Negative 1 times negative 3, we get 3. So minus 3. Negative 1 times negative 4, we get 4. So minus 4. So here 2 times negative 2, we get negative 4. So minus negative 4. 6 times 1 is 6, so minus 6. And then 5 times 2 is 10, minus 10. 1 times 0 is 0, so minus 0. We don't even need to write. So here half, we get negative 6. Positive, negative, negative 24. Positive, negative, negative 10. Plus 1. Positive, negative. Plus 1, sorry, minus 2. Minus 3, minus 4, minus 7. Negative, negative become positive 4. This one is minus 6 minus 10 so here we get just add up everything just use your calculator or manually calculate so this one so here you get negative 60 so which is equal to half modulus negative 60 is 60 which is equal to 30 unit square so this one the area of the hexagon is 30 unit square 